Alright, seven days to die. We are back. Episode 22. 22. Little shout out to one of my favorite YouTubers, Meathead. I guess I should say Meat Wagon. Meat Wagon 22. He's actually the reason I play this game. I watched him play it and I was like, what is that? Barrel. 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 You'll hear me make a lot of references to them. A lot of the stuff they say because I like them. Let me kill this bear. Zombie running up on me. Ow. Jeez. Yeah. You keep your rod in me. Whoop, wrong button. Is that it? No mas pantalones? Okay. Let's hack this barrel up. Barrel. I did something really dumb. I walked over to the house that I was stashing stuff in and picked it all up. And then came to this town with almost a full inventory. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Nah, I don't need the bones. Oh, well, I already got a bone, so... Might as well get another. Maybe, I figure maybe I'll get lucky and inside this gun store find some calipers. That would be, that'd be awesome. Forty-eight coins, yes please. That's some good stuff. Beer? No beer. Come on, calipers. Hmm. I think we'll do this. What, what's in here? Uh, I won't put it in the register, because the register can spawn money. Put well, I mean, I might as well just drink that or not. Put the corn in there, put the wrench in there. It's my barrel on this three oh nine, so don't particularly need that right now. Hmm. Feathers. They can go in there. That stuff is still breaking down. Put the animal fat. Meat. It's what's for dinner. Who knows, maybe I'll get enough stuff to make a shotgun in here. Sell them a whole shotgun. Or just a bunch of shotgun stocks. 
Ooh. That's some good stuff. Ooh, even more good stuff. Really? Uh, assembly. Blue SMG parts. Nice. Assembly. Purple shotgun parts. I'll take it. Assembly. Shotgun long barrel. Oh. Forgot to repair my... Or did I? Did I scrap it? I think I scrapped it. <laughs> what a dum-dum. Dum dum and the bum bum. Okay, well, let's make another one. Well, it's actually a higher level now than that works. Well, I already searched that. Calipers. Another shotgun barrel. Calipers. Oh, AK parts, SMG part. What? SMG part. Uh, I thought I had another shotgun long barrel. Yes, I do. Don't have any more shotgun parts. I thought I had spare parts. Oh, I put that on the other gun. AK? Yes. And we will assemble that. Why do I have three stones? It makes no sense. More shotgun parts. Symbol. There's a whole shotgun. Hmm. Guess I might as well put that on there too. That might give me a little extra money on it. Oh. Mm, you can keep that. I do not need your shorts or your sunglasses. Oh. Repair that. Pro tip, if you break the block that the safe is in, the safe disappears. So you don't want to do that. That's a no-no. Another pro tip, I don't know if they, I know they changed it on PC to where the oil barrels don't really do big explosions anymore, but if you find one of the, uh, the banks and you need to get in the safe, stick an oil drum right outside the vault door and blow that bad boy open. You'll blow apart part of the building as well, but you know, accidents happen. Assembly. Oh, I already got shotgun parts on that one. Oh, it's a hunting rifle barrel. I don't have parts on this. Okay, well that's the shotgun store rated can't buy anything out of there even though I want to buy beer what do I take back with me
I can always come back for the rest of that stuff later. There's the bunker. We'll head back, dump our stuff, swing back, clear out the rest of this town, and then head back to the trader. I probably should have just left that bear and not killed it, but oh well. I only got three meat from that thing, like what's up with that? Used to get tons of meat from the bears. You get like 20 meat from one bear. Okay, maybe not 20, but... That's weird. It's a water tower. You know, surprisingly, I haven't found lakes in this, in this map yet. Usually these random gen maps are full of like lakes, tons of water spots, I haven't found any. I'm sure it's probably on the other side that I haven't, uh, haven't searched yet, but Man, they're usually like 70% water, 30% land, it seems like. I'll let my stamina build up a little bit. What is food 92, water 97? I already got 249 zombie kills, tree deaths. Rip the dream. Longest life was 9 hours until that car exploded on me. Stupid car. Oh, losing temperature. Okay. Got stamina. I like it though, finally starting to get the purple stuff. Purple's good. You get a purple shotgun. Well, Basically almost any purple weapon except for the pistol, you can basically one hit everything. Purple shotgun on Horde Knight if you have enough ammo, oof. I used to be really fond of the SMGs and the AKs, then they did an update to where you would shoot it and even after you like took the gun off, it would continue making the shooting. Oh, shooting sound, and you would have to close out of the game and restart it. It was super annoying. So ever since then, I haven't uh, haven't used one. So I might uh, this game if I find all the parts to make one. I might try it just to see, see if it's still doing that, because I would like to know because AK is a lot of fun on a horde night. Purple AK, mm. Better hope you got a couple hundred rounds, and by a couple hundred I mean like 500 rounds of ammo for it. But, and you'll go through that in no time at all. You drain a mag in that in maybe five seconds. got a better fire rate than the AK does in real life. IRL. I've only been able to shoot one fully automatic weapon IRL and it was a blast. I only got to do two magazines but it was a blast. you ever get the chance at a range in a legal manner go for it you won't regret it it's a ton of fun some people are really afraid of guns nothing to be afraid of as long as you're doing everything properly 
Oh, hey, nurse. Goodbye, nurse. Don't even have anything on you anyway. Waste of time. I know there was a pill store in that town. So, I know I'll hit that for sure. I don't know if I'm going to go through the houses. I might. Maybe if I see a bookcase, I'll go into the houses, but that'll be about the only reason I go into one. I need to work on upgrading my barter skill so I actually get a decent amount of money back from these guys. Because you look at some stuff and it's like, oh, this will sell for a thousand. And then you click on it and it's like, yeah, I'm going to give you 200 for it. It's very realistic to real life. You walk into a pawn shop or something, it's worth $500. They're like, I'll give you 75 for it. That's why I've never done business with a pawn shop. I understand they got to make money, but straight up trying to rip people off, it's really bad taste in my opinion. You always see those shows where they buy something from someone for 50 bucks and, oh, this is worth $10,000. That's why I could never be in the pawn business, because I would feel so bad, I'd call them up and be like, hey, I sold this for a lot more, so I'm going to hook you up with a couple grand. And then I would lose my job, for sure. That stuff's still cooking up good. Maybe I should keep that for my buddy if he ever decides to play. Keeping that SMG for sure. Sorry if you can hear my phone ringing. It's been ringing nonstop the past couple of days. It's super annoying. Wait, I did read that right. Yes. Assembly. Where's that AK barrel? Isn't there gun parts in here too? Yeah. Hunting rifle receiver. Thought I had hunting rifle parts as well. I could be mistaken. Put that shotgun in there. That SMG. Uh, put that AK. Let me dump the rest of this crap just so I got room to work with here. Uh, mechanical parts, that, that, put that in there, that in there. That, 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 and that. Dump that in there, that in there. I gotta grab some meat out of the fire. Fire Obaya. Don't need 45 of those. So I'll take half of that, toss it in. Hunting rifle parts, hunting rifle parts. There we go.
somebody. There, now my buddy's got a hunting rifle whenever he gets back in here. I guess I should leave him with some hammer. Pistol the parts. What's that? I put the shotgun? No, that's the shotgun. Okay. Sorry, bud. I know you'll see this later and think I'm greedy, but I'm only giving you 18 shells. Actually, I'll give you a couple more. There. You got 24. That'll do you something until you find more. And on that note, I believe we'll end this episode here and we'll come back in the next episode back in that town. Thanks for watching.